this is another one of the videos of the AMPR camera uh, made by the Raspberry Pi which is now today located in the front of the windscreen and it's going to be facing the traffic coming around this corner and what we're going to be doing is we've got the infrared filter bypass on the camera now so you can see it's monochrome and what I'm going to be doing is I'll set the warning window up so as soon as it recognises a plate it's going to come up there we go excellent stuff we can just acknowledge that one wait for the next one to come up I've only got it um, on the rear of the vehicles let's close that so we can go back to the uh, main window got the next vehicle coming along now see if it will capture that one as you can see the, rec the, the capture is very very good very fast this is only um, it's a dual core Pentium 2 some of the number plates I've noticed um, don't actually show you any of the letters I can't actually focus in on the, the screen very well if I just rotate the camera slightly to the right, you'll see that number plate, you can't actually see any letters on it. Let's see if we can capture some plates coming towards us. Lovely jubbly. Now I need to acknowledge the one that we saw earlier, because it'll always show another one. Lovely. These are the rear ones. And this is the front one, not X7Fs. Yeah. Acknowledge that. So you can see the Raspberry Pi is very good in daytime mode with the filter on. Although I do find it hard to focus, maybe because of the thickness of the infrared glass. KM53 WWK. There we go. So recognition on monochrome seems to be. Um, very accurate. I've got no filters on this in terms of number plate recognition. It should just recognise all letters and all numbers, um, opposed to obviously adding a filter um, and saying that you only want to capture uh, a number plate that starts with two letters, then two numbers, then four letters, like say G KN53 WKK. Or you can say that anything um, that's just one letter it finds is a void. Anything that's two is a void. Anything is three that is a void. All the way up to seven digits. Um, you can always leave six on because some plates are six. But then you're gonna you're gonna miss out any private number plates that have got any less characters in, uh, which would be a shame. So let's just have a look and see what else we can um, we've acknowledged since then. ND55, not so accurate. on plates coming towards maybe because of the angle but obviously plates going away very accurate that was an early capture but a very uh, very poor one I did some testing last night on the uh, the same setup here but obviously in the dark the problem that I'm getting is to capture the frames we need to have the shutter speed up and in the dark with the shutter speed up you get very poor illumination so what we find is that we need to increase the illumination now that the filter that I've put on there um, what I can just show you again let's just loosen the uh, bracket up so I don't break it the filter is a 950 nanometer bypass filter, so it only lets any light in above 950 nanometers or 950 nm. Problem I've got is that the infrared LEDs that I've installed onto the front of my camera are only 830 to 840 nm. So although I can see them, it's 
doesn't illuminate very well. They're a very narrow beam, and the the, the distance that they, they throw the light at is very, very, very short when you put the infrared filter on, because the infrared filter's not letting that light through as much as the would do if they were 950 mm. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be putting a Kickstarter page on for a funding just to get, say, a 20 or a 30, maybe a 50 watt LED chip very bright at the right frequency to the filter maybe even replace the filter and see how we get on with that I'm actually talking to a license plate automatic number plate recognition company and they're going to hopefully supply me um, a demo an evaluation version of their software which will run on the Raspberry Pi hopefully on a Linux I might have to overclock the baby just a little bit. Let's have another look, see what it acknowledged before I turn the camera around. So a little bit of work on the lighting. I think if we uh, if we can put the, the infrared light on it at the right frequency, then um, the image will be greatly improved. Acknowledge that one. We can close that and that'll bring us back to the hour. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, again, we've got it running on the laptop doing the recognition. This is the 